Hello and welcome to the Counselor Overview for setting up and utilizing online scheduling. We'll begin by reviewing the basic setup features and then show the actual process of scheduling appointments online. To begin, we'll click here on Administration in the top menu bar and then select Clinic List. This is where you can initially activate the online scheduling within your Counselor account. To do so, click the Edit option to the right of the clinic you wish to activate. Then choose the Advanced Settings option schedule settings and then you'll see, you'll see an online scheduling tab from there you can go ahead and enable so you check this box now this one's already enabled um, but once you enable it then of course a whole series of other options will display uh, you want to take your time and read through these because there's some great flexibility in, as to how you set up your online scheduling for example you can decide how if there's a minimum time uh, which is needed uh, before a patient can schedule. So for example, you could say they can't schedule any closer to the uh, appointment time than four hours or 24 hours, right? If you wish to have uh, a little bit of a buffer there. Uh, you also can have an appointment um, slot time to, to show um, how frequently times may be available. Um, you can uh, have email, uh, one email or multiple email uh, addresses in place to receive notifications when an online appointment is uh, is created. There is, of course, an area within the dashboard of Counselor that will show appointments as well. So, uh, but this will give you um, a, a, basically an immediate notification. There's also an option here uh, to um, have a confirmation URL. This is typically related to um, optimizing your website if you have the um, or really referral tracking, I guess is a better way to say it, if you have the um, online scheduling system embedded within your website. So this is a tool you typically take advantage of if you're working with a web developer, a developer and tracking referrals and things like that. Uh, you also can note uh, a referral source. Uh, so very commonly, if this, for example, is embedded within the clinic website, then the referral source may be website. Right. Or these, of course, would be custom for your clinic. As we scroll down here, we can see that there are more options, of course. Uh, so there are uh, options for a direct link. Uh, this is where uh, you can have this link within an email, whether it's an email you send up manually through Counselor, or you're using email marketing automation, or you're doing um, kind of mass emailing through the system. You can include a link uh, that the patient can click and that will kick off the online scheduling process. Uh, if you have uh, multiple clinics, you can decide whether you wish to send the kind of generic kind of clinic, clinics wide link where the patient can choose uh, their specific clinic or you could have a clinic specific link, meaning let's say on your website, uh, you list your five locations and next to your five locations, you, each one has a button that says schedule now, right? So you could have this link built in for each one of those. Uh, and that way, if the patient clicks there, the system already knows they're scheduling for that specific location, okay? Uh, there's also the code that can be used, as I mentioned, to embed this within your website. Um, of course, if you have any questions about the utilization of these, please reach out to us. And we're happy to, to, to guide you through how these can be used. All right. So that's the basic process for activating. So once we have you know, this enabled and we've made our selections here, you go ahead and click Close, and then you click Save. That will lock in those changes. And of course, if you want to activate additional clinics, go ahead and do so. Uh, the process is very quick quick uh, now so we've set up we've activated online scheduling for specific clinics now we want to get the staff members activated we want to say which of our staff members are available for online appointments now you could there are two methods for this individual staff members can go into their own schedule options and they can set up um, their hours right I should mention that this only would apply to staff members that are currently on the schedule Okay, so, um, but they can set up their own, you know, online business hours um, where they can say specifically in which clinic, what hours are they available, right? So this could be uh, set up separately for each clinic that's activated for online scheduling. Um, the process here, of course, is you can enable, disable, uh, disable, I'm sorry, uh, individual staff members. So maybe someone is in the schedule, but of course you, you don't want to schedule them for online scheduling, but other people you do. Right, so here's the enable disable option. Uh, you can decide whether you want the provider's profile picture be displayed as well. Uh, but with any changes, go ahead and click save. It will lock in those changes. And then if you're gonna make you know changes for the next clinic, you can go ahead and do so, right? 
Um, all right, so uh, that's one method is if, if, if providers logged in, they can go into their own schedule options and set up the times. Uh, if you are a clinic administrator, you also have the ability uh, to go into each profile. So you don't have to rely on the providers going in and setting up their own uh, schedules or online schedules. You can simply say, you know what, I'm going to do this for everyone. So you pop into an individual provider's profile. And then within the security tab, there is also the option here for online business hours. So the same features we just saw a moment ago are available at the kind of admin level here. Okay, so it does enable you to very quickly pop in, get everything squared away. Maybe you have a, a change uh, in uh, multiple provider schedules. You can go ahead and make all those changes for all the providers uh, in a matter of a minute or two. Uh, and then that will immediately be active, of course, within your online schedule. All right, so we've activated the clinics, we've activated the users. Now let's look at the appointment types. We're gonna go to administration and then click on appointment types. All right, within um, the appointment type administration, of course, we can see all of our existing appointments. We can create new appointments. Let's go ahead and grab an existing appointment here. So we'll edit this one. Um, within this, of course, you can see uh, that there are a lot of options, but specifically we're focusing on here is online scheduling. Uh, on this tab, you can click to enable uh, because you may not want all of your appointments to be um, available for online scheduling, right? Perhaps you don't want VNGs uh, to be available for online scheduling. Maybe you just want audios. Maybe you just want clean and checks. Totally up to you uh, as to what you have enabled or do not have enabled. Um, excuse me. <coughs> you then have the ability to have a, a name that the patient will see within the online scheduling system. So even though internally, <coughs> this appointment type is referred to as an ontological evaluation, that <coughs> may not be the specific language you want to show the patient. <clears throat> so you have the ability to basically say, okay, internally we call it audio evaluation, but uh, to the patient, we're going to show this as hearing evaluation. In addition, you can add any description that you wish. So if you want to communicate to the patient what, what the appointment really entails, um, you could even put such things as maybe there, if there's pricing involved, right? If you um, want to make that clear or um, any other notes that you wish to add. So that will be visible along with the display name as the patient is scheduling. You then have the ability to define specific staff for this appointment type, meaning that, let's go back to the VNG example. Uh, perhaps you do want VNGs to be available through online scheduling, but maybe you have four staff members and only two of them perform VNGs. So you'd have the ability to say, okay, we specifically just want Dr. Rogers and Dr. Clark to perform those evaluations. Or, nope, this is generic, we all do it, uh, so we'll save this for all staff. Okay, but any changes you make, of course, once again, you want to go ahead and click save. And with that, you have now activated your clinic uh, or clinics for online scheduling. You've activated specific uh, staff members and you've activated a, spe a specific appointment types. All right, so let's have a look at how the online scheduling process will work. So as I referenced before, you can provide a link uh, to the online scheduling process um, within emails. Um, the process also can be initiated through the um, patient portal. Now we won't be reviewing the patient portal in detail on this overview, um, but the point is if a patient has, if you've activated the patient portal for them and they've signed in, they will have the ability to see their past um, appointments or future appointments and the ability to perform online scheduling through that portal. Uh, what's nice about that, of course, is it saves them time so they don't have to type in their name and everything. It's already gonna know who they are. All right. Uh, so let's do this. We're going to jump into the online scheduling. I'm going to go ahead and just grab this first link here, the um, company portal. Now, this is sort of the generic site that Counselor has built that your patients can see. If this is embedded within your website, then they would just see this inner portion here. Okay, so, um, so essentially, if it's embedded, it's, it's, it's branded for you. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on uh, the first clinic here. And so this is, once again, is what the patient would be walking through. Uh, they can choose their um, appointment type. So here we have a few options available. You can see the descriptions that go along with each as, uh, as well as the, the duration. So let's just take an audio here. Uh, then it's gonna look out and we can see Dr. Rogers schedule or multiple providers, right? Or they could just say any available. Right. But let's just stay with Dr. Rogers' schedule. And we can look out here to, let's just say, the 12th. 
When we do so, it's going to show the available times. Now, of course, it does not show uh, all of Dr. Rogers' schedule. It just shows the available times. Uh, so this patient could say, okay, you know what? The 2 o'clock works well. Okay. Now, this is when I've already gone ahead and completed the information just to save time. Uh, but the patient, of course, would complete the, uh, the information here. They can back out of this, too. If they realize, oops, you know what? That doesn't work for anymore. They can go back and make a change, right? Or they could change providers. Uh, they could go back and change the appointment type or the clinic. So they're not stuck in any one of these options. They can always backtrack. At the bottom here, there is a challenge question just to make sure that no um, bots are being involved with this. Uh, and we can go ahead and click schedule appointment. All right. So back in uh, Counselor, when we go back to the dashboard, there is a widget specifically for online scheduling. What this will do is it will say, okay, if there was a patient who's scheduled that currently is not a patient in the system, right, someone who isn't a, a match, it will essentially uh, put it on hold and it'll say, all right, this is going to save the time. So this is obviously a pretty old one, but this is going to save the time on this schedule. So it's going to block the time to make sure that there's not, you know, issue a double booking. But it's basically going to say, hey, but we're not familiar with this patient. So we want you to review it. So you can go ahead, click on it, and you can decide. Is this, yes, this is a, an existing patient. Okay, great, let's connect them up with an existing patient profile. Is this a uh, brand new patient? In which case, yes, let's create them, let's create a new patient uh, profile. Uh, is this fake, right? This is someone who maybe um, scheduled three appointments and they were kind of messing around our website. And in that case, we're gonna go ahead you know, to this date and time and just delete the appointment, right? So it gives you control to make sure that bad data isn't getting into your system. Okay. Uh, of course, if you say, yep, this is great. Let's go ahead and create a new patient. It'll create that new patient profile. And then what it'll do, let's just go back to June here. It will go ahead and it will uh, automatically link up the appointment with that patient profile. Okay. So that way you don't have to manually do anything. We can see here that now that appointment's been linked up. Okay. In the Simpson clinic. Okay. Um, getting back to the appointment that we just scheduled uh, through the online scheduling process, let's go ahead and look at the 12th. Because that was an existing patient, uh, it automatically linked them up. So it's only a matter of when you need to, um, if it's a brand new patient, uh, kind of new to your system, then you would go through the dashboard widget. If this is an existing patient, if there's already a match, then it will automatically designate that patient for the appointment. Okay, uh, so this process is, you know, like I said, uh, fairly straightforward, uh, both from the setup process as well as the utilization from the patient and the um, kind of tracking and monitoring on the clinic side. With all that said, we're very happy to talk any of these processes through with you directly uh, to make sure any questions are covered. So please let us know, reach out to us, email us, live chat us, uh, um, give us a call. We're always happy to help. So thank you very much for joining us for the counselor overview on setting up and utilizing online scheduling.